Alright YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Test Drive Unlimited 2 series and as you can see we're, we're going to be looking at these two A4 cars, the Audi RS6 Avance and the Jaguar XKR. So let's take the Audi RS6 Avance since I have it selected right now. This is a beautiful car. As you can see, you probably can tell that underneath the uh, daytime running lights, LED daytime running lights, there's a little bit of a lighting glitch when you turn the brake lights on. But still, this is a fantastic car. The handling is absolutely perfect thanks to the four-wheel drive system, and uh, it sounds really cool too. Kind of like it sounds like a Ascari a little bit. So here's the interior, very nice interior. You even get a GPS on here, and of course, this is an optional interior. It's got a brown interior onto it, so yeah. Very cheap car too. I think it's about $150,000, which is pretty cheap for an Audi when you think about it. Is this thing tuned up? Is the question I have to ask? Yes. Probably pay, uh, yeah, you have to pay a lot of money in order to get this thing tuned because Audis, all the German cars are really expensive to tune, like Mer the Mercedes Benz, Audis, Ruffs, and a whole bunch of other cars. Bugatti is the most expensive car to tune. Anyway, sorry about not making an episode yesterday for you guys because it was Memorial Day and my folks were all home, so I couldn't really make an episode for you guys. So sorry about that. This episode is coming out today, though. So you, for, for the people that are waiting for for Tesla Number Two. Uh, you guys will have an episode. Some random guy just spawned in just as I went in. So now let's take the Jaguar XKR, which is a fantastic car. I have it painted up in red, which is, I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful car. I've actually seen a convertible version of this thing, which is really nice. Look at the tail lights, guys. Very nice. And the headlights look really nice, too. Now let's go this way. A whole bunch of random guys here. Here's the interior. Very nice standard interior. In fact, there's going to be a couple other XKRs coming out soon. There's going to be an XKR S coming out. Actually, it's already out. Then we're going to have the XKR GT, which is coming out this summer. There's only going to be 50 of them in the world, but my god, it's going to be a really cool car when it comes out. I've already seen pictures of it. It looks so cool. It looks like a normal XKR, but it's got a big spoiler on the back. It's got the GT logo on it. It's probably got more horsepower as well, so it's really, really powerful. So, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going somewhere. Uh, this is gonna go to that roundabout, ah, whatever. But anyway, it's just a test drive. So let's drive from hood view a little bit because this is the view I would use on shift to. So yeah, very nice car, I have to say. Great sounding car. It stops on a dime too. It's really, really powerful brakes. Sorry about that. I'm not used to the braking on this thing. And this thing's fully tuned as well, just like the Audi. But in my opinion, don't go with this. Whoa, some guy. Whoa. Okay, get out of here before I get arrested. So let me show you the dealerships for these cars. So you can get the... Sorry. Let's start with the Audi. So you can get the Audi RS6 Avant here. It's located right here. Lots of rim options. Mine doesn't have any standard rims. Like, I have yet to go to the cart to the tuner and upgrade the rims. Then a couple of exterior colors. I like blue. No difference between the blues. And then lots and lots and lots of interior color options. There's even carbon fiber inlays available. Hundred fifty thousand dollar car. Not that expensive for what it is. Car glitch. And then you can go to this dealership right here. I think this is it. Now this is a speed pack. Uh, the one with the speed pack. So you have to go to this one, this British Cars East dealership. I have everything here. And it's going to be right here. There's going to be a lot of color options available on this car. No, only one rim, op rim option available. Quite a bit of colors available. Is that green? It doesn't look that bad in green. Very nice car. And lots and lots and lots of interior color options. So yeah, I'm going to make this episode a little shorter today so I can upload it faster for you guys. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.